Hello everyone, if you want to represent data points in a way that could correspond to different attributes or multiple variables, then creating a bubble matrix in Excel is the best option for you. In business world, a bubble matrix might be a very strategic tool used to prioritize projects based on their potential impact and feasibility. So, this is Jihad Jim from Excel Lemi and today we'll learn several steps on how to create a bubble matrix in Excel. So let's talk about what is a bubble matrix. A bubble matrix is a sort of graph that shows information using three dimensions of data. Similar to a scatter graph, the bubble matrix has the bubble sizes controlled by a third variable. The size of variable is used to represent the bubble. When demonstrating relationships between three variables, particularly when the third variable is a measure of importance, then bubble matrices are frequently utilized. Before going into the steps, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here, we have the name of the companies, the annual profit growth of 2021, 2022, and 2023 in column B, C, D, and E. Our target is to create a bubble matrix chart with it. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. To create the bubble matrix chart, at first we need the help of four helper ranges. The helper range 1 and 2 will be used to create the bubble matrix while the helper range 3 and 4 will be used to label it. At first we'll go for helper range 1 as serial number will be label it from 1 to 4. So write down 1, 2, 3, 4 as the serial. Next we have the helper range 2 where we need to insert the values of helper range 1 in a reverse order. So we'll go for 4, 3, 2, 1. As the bubble matrix chart is a three dimension chart, we need to use it three times. So we'll copy it down by using Ctrl plus C and paste it here in the serial number 2. By using Ctrl plus V, we'll do the same for the serial number 3. After creating it, now we can create the bubble matrix. So we'll select C5 to E8, go for the insert tab. In the chart section, we'll go for insert scatter or bubble chart. Select bubble chart to create the chart here. Select chart, right click on it, go for select data and it will open select data source dialog box. Now press remove to remove the current data serial. But now you need to go for add to add new data variables here. As the x values, at first you will go for the serial nong which is in the helper range 1. After that, as y values, we'll go for the three dimension area of the 444. 4, 4. And in the last section, we'll go for the bubble size, which is in the C5 to E5. Press OK to get the first series here. You need to do the same for all the data series. So we'll again, go for the add and again, go for the serial long of the helper range 1 as select range as y values will go for the second values here in the helper range 2 and as bubble size will go for c6 to e6 press ok to get the second serial you need to do the same for the third and fourth After creating all the series, we'll go for the OK option to create the bubble matrix here. To label it down, at first we need to go for the axis and delete them and after that we need the help of helper range 3 and 4 to label them. At first we'll go for the helper range 3 and as serial number we'll go for 1, 2, 3 but as column we need to start from 0, 0 and 0. The column 2 will be used here as the bubble size later. So we'll go for 0 0.001 as its value. 
we need to use it for the rest of the section so we'll use the fill handle option to get all the values after that we need to go for the helper range 4 where we need to again serial it but before that as in the helper range 3 we have used 000 as column 1 so we'll go for the same column 1 as 0 0 0 and 0 in column 2 we need to use the reverse order like the helper range 2 so we'll go for 4 3 2 1 and in the column 3 we need to have the same data size like the column 2 so we'll again go for 0 0.001 and use the same by using fill handle for all the cells after that we'll go for the data here in the data chart right click on it go for select data to open the select data source dialog box and here we'll go for the add to add new data series here at first as x values we'll go for the helper range 3 values serial number as y values we'll go for the column 000 and here in the bubble size we'll use the column 2 of the helper range 3 click ok to get the size here again you'll go for the add again to get helper range 4 go for the x values here we'll use the column 1 as the x values of helper range 4 again go for the column 2 and in the bubble size we'll use the column 3 now if we click the ok then we have got all the six series after that if you click ok then you'll get your perfect result but it's not showing anything here so go for the chart elements and here tick on data labels to see whether it is working correctly or not you can easily untick the grid lines to show it perfectly you can modify them by selecting the values right click on them go for format data labels to open format data labels here you'll go for value from cells and in this section you will select the c4 to e4 press ok and then untick y value now you'll see that you have changed the values here you can do the same for the y-axis click on them right click and go for format data labels to open the format data labels again go for value from cells and here you'll select b5 to b8 click ok and untick the y value now you have got the perfect data chart here you need to go for the chart title and remove it by pressing delete in the keyboard show the data labels properly we'll go for the one data series option right click on them go for format data labels to open format data labels here and we'll go for value from cells as we're trying to get the value from asterisk so we'll select the value of c8 to e8 click ok and untick the y value so we've got the result here we need to do the same for every bubble chart right click on it again Go for format data labels again value from the cells and select c7 to e7 click ok and untick the y value after marking everything we have generated a perfect bubble matrix chart in excel so that's it for today you can follow these steps accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com thanks for watching our video if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this